everybody doing today? I've got a piece of paper in my hand that I hope you're gonna love. It took me a lot of time, it took me a lot of effort. No, it really didn't. I really didn't do any effort on this one. I just gave the idea of what boat to do, and he went and grabbed it, so you got yourself a blast from the past, and it's gonna start right now. It is going to be a Skeeter. You ready? Everybody? You ready? Skeeter 2012 ZX20. ZX20. We didn't go 21, we went 20. We went back in time. Doo, 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 doo. Not too far, just the 2012. So we're not getting into the woo, 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 woo. It's just doo, 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 doo. So we went back a little bit. Went to 2012 ZX20. All right. Had myself a ZX bolt back in the day. Back in the day. Um, this one that we have is a 2012 with a 2012 250 SHO on it. Yamaha SHO 250. Um, comes with a new in bolt print, new Minn Kota Ultrex. Um, it's got a HB Helix. What, what's HB? Do you know what HB is? You sure? Why, why did you put that? I don't like HB. I mean, why don't we just put Helix 12? That's not our ad. It's not our ad. But here we go. So we got the Ultrex new. Do we know how big this is? We don't know how big this is. Could be an 80, could be a 112. We don't know. All right, so it's just got an Ultrex on the front. It's got the Helix 12 at the console. It's got Helix 10 at the bow. It's got Garmin Live Scope also. Garmin Live Scope. That's something new for us here. We got Garmin Live Scope. New batteries. One, it says power poles, but from the picture, we only see one. So we're gonna go power pole. Uh, it's got the remote drain, which Andy's not a fan of. And it's got pro trim, blinkers, levers, uh, anything you want to call them nowadays. You can call them directional things if you want. Uh, it's got brand new carpet and upholstery, which for a 2012 means the boat must have either been in a barn with a bunch of pigeons taking shit on it, or it's been sun faded. But the picture doesn't show that the boat itself is faded, so we grabbed onto it and we said, all right, we're gonna go to West End, not West Bend, West End, North Carolina, because that's where this boat is. So. The boat in the pictures looks pretty good. Seats are in good shape. Carpet's obviously brand new. The Altrex that's on it, when I'm zooming in here, I'm like, the Altrex that's on it to me looks like a 112. It's got the big head on the bottom. So it looks like a 112. The dual units up front, the 10 up front, great. And now we had Garmin, Live School. Pretty damn nice, pretty damn nice. They're stacked, boom, boom. So it's doot, doot, foot pedal. It's got a recessed foot pedal on it. They didn't talk about that. Um, don't get to see any battery configurations. We don't have any really in depth with this, um, but the boat itself looks pretty good. Price for this boat, 36.9. Not terrible, 36.9. 2012 ZX20 with the 2012 250 SHO. Doesn't really talk about the motor hours, doesn't talk about compression, doesn't talk about all that, so you'd have to get all that taken care of. Um, Chuck's number is here. It's Chuck who owns it, by the way, Chuck. Not Charlie Brown, Chuck, the Chuck. Um, so, it is on Bass Boat Central. Yes, we did go to Bass Boat Central. We went up and maybe pulled on, you know, Al's coattails and just kind of, hey, can we use your site again? We did, we went to Bass Boat Central. Um, and we found it, there's a lot of them on Bass Boat Central, is there not? A lot of Skeeters on Bass Boat Central? No, a lot of newer ones. It kind of was harder to find the older. I, I said I wanted to go like in the 10, 12 range and this is what we came up with, so. Um, 36.9 for the boat. I, I'm sure this is how it came. It looks pretty like it came with that, but the Helix in the at the console looks pretty fairly new. So maybe not. And the stack looks good. It's got, they put a weird spot for the puck. It's, uh, there's gonna be some moving you're gonna have to do with this. Moving and grooving. It is a single console, not a dual, single console. Like I said, there's not much here. There's not much to talk about. But I think if it was me, I'd add a pole. Um, so you got a bracket and a pole. It looks like a Pro 2. So you're gonna have 28-ish, 3,000 bucks into that, whatever. Uh, but up front, it's ready to go with live scope, with the Altrex, everything else is ready to go. Battery configurations, I don't know. Maybe we'll do some battery change outs on it, but I don't think so. So essentially, I'm gonna add a pole to this. So we're gonna be at 39-ish, maybe, by the time we're done, if we put a pole on it. So you're, you know, probably right around 39 by the time we're done. Um, I had one of these, it was older, it was a 2010 that I had. Um, there's one thing you want to check when you're looking at these boats, and I'm sure you guys that are watching this are going to know, 
Well, that cap and the hull come together back by the transom where it bumps out right in there, they separate. There's a separation deal there. I had that, it was a big separation that I had. Literally the whole thing would come apart. Like you could, hello, hello, look right in type of thing. Um, the ride, the ride is always pretty decent. Um, when I had my 10, I've been in some newer ones. The ride has definitely changed on some of the newer models. Um, quality ride is better today than it was then. We always used to call it the Skeeter Slap. Everybody that knows the turning, the yicky, 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 that type of stuff, we used to call it the Skeeter Slap. Uh, this boat would probably have a little slap to it. Don't know with the 250 on the back, though. Um, Quality-wise, they, they were a well-built boat, except for the uh, inspection, you could look in the back transom. Um, but, I mean, if you just gotta go through and check all that stuff. Check your hull, make sure that stuff's good. Stand on the cavitation plate. When I say stand on the cavitation plate, literally, Get on the motor, stand on it, trim it down, and just step on it and rock it a little bit. See what happens. Look at the bottom, look at the cap, and look at the hull. See if you got movement there. Shouldn't have no movement there. There's no separation. Speed, boat's gonna be 70 miles an hour all day long. Um, the value is there. I mean, at under 40 grand, as long as everything checks out structurally with the boat, the carpet's good, like I said. The seats are in great shape. Um, it's got your electronics on it. You really need to put a pole in it, so I think the value's there to buy this boat. It's a pretty decent boat. It's a tandem axle trailer, um, breakaway tongue it looks like on this one picture. So I mean, everything's there. Everything's there to go fishing. Everything's there to, to go get it done and deal with tournament angling, if that's what we're talking about, which I try to base it around being a tournament angler. So um, yeah, it's a good boat. Fishability, uh, very, they'll fish shallow. I've never had, I've been able to slide skeeters in and out of some thin water when I had them. Um, I went through three skeeters, three before I said no more. Um, but yeah, I mean, they were good. They were good fish ability. So I think when it comes down to this ZX-20, the Skeeter that Chuck has out in West End, North Carolina. I've never been to West End. Is that the end of the West or? Neil, have you ever heard of West End, North Carolina? No. West End. It says West End. That's what we're going with. Chuck's out there, his number's here. So you can go on Basketball Central. Look it up, Skeeter. Looks like a pretty good boat, 2012 ZX20, 250 show. Um, it was just listed, 622, not too long ago. So I'm sure it's still there. So get a hold of it, take a look at it. Tell me what you think. If you guys got these, let's talk about Skeeters. Let's talk about Skeeters on this one. Let's get um, talking about your Skeeter because up here, we don't have many FX boats. Um, there is some ZX boats running around up here still, but there's not a ton of them. There's not a lot. Uh, there's a dealer to the north here that sells them. We don't get a lot to come down this way. So, um, yeah, I, I think this is a good buy. At 36.9, you add another 3,000 bucks in goodies and garbage, and you'll be at 39, 40,000 bucks. You got yourself a 2012 ZX. The same boat today is probably 72, maybe more, 75, probably. So, I think you got a good boat. Um, just as long as that hull and cap are together in the back. I didn't have any other problems with anything else. Great rod storage, huge rod storage on those boats. Big decks, aircraft carrier style decks, you know, double box, big rod lockers. You could live in them. They're a little shallow on the sides, but I mean, that's a Skeeter, not compared to the Champ with the big deep ones. The Ranger's got the big ones. Um, but it, it, it's a good layout, it's a good fishing boat, easy. Um, just, they're good boats. I think they're, I think they're good boats. I really do. I think they're good boats. Just as long as we don't have the inspection in the back. So. And there's an easy way to tell. You can always grab a rub rail. When you're looking down a rub rail, you'll see them little bumps in the rub rail. Those are screws coming out. <laughs> screws backing out. And it's usually behind the rub rail. Um, those bolts, if I remember correctly, were riveted together. So that could have some issue to it. But 2012 Skeeter ZX20. 40 grand after you put some stuff on it. Good looking boat. Good buy. Chuck, I hope you sell this thing, man. I hope you get. Get some calls on this thing. West End, North Carolina, call Chuck. Get a look at this boat, Fast Boat Central. I like it, go pick it up. As always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I call speed, money, and no brakes. I'm out, see ya.